Shan Rice Maruli, the Fire Her Coach. And this month's Monday Morning Mentor is Lamika Weeks, the founder of Hype Goddess. And so we're going to start off talking a little bit about, you know, what are some of the business tips that you need to know if your dream is to start your own clothing line. And so I have a few questions come in, Lamika, from the Fire Her community, um, women who want to start their own line. And so I'm going to start with the very first question, okay. and then we'll proceed on. Sure. So everybody knows there's a learning curve when starting anything new. Absolutely. So if we have a young woman who's watching uh, this, this, this today, mm -hmm. what advice would you give her or one thing that you would say she would need to do in launching her clothing line? Um, the one thing I would say is make sure you know your audience. It's very important to know who you're going after because you can't be everything to everybody. Um, so the biggest part is just to understand your audience, understand how you're going to target that audience, and be laser focused on that. You're going to get a lot of advice from people on how you should do certain things, um, and you just need to know your audience and how you're going to go about getting them. So, so targeting and understanding your target audience is what I say. So how do they find the target audience? Like what are some of the things that you did to right. kind of, well, we know you target right. all women, but <laughs> if they right. don't have that specific, um, you know, right. market in mind, like how mm -hmm. do they clarify it to maybe right. target a certain age range? Well, well, for me it was easy because I was solving a problem. Okay. So my business grew out of solving a problem. So for me it was solving my problem of not being able to find clothing to fit me. Um, so if you're starting, if, you're, if, you're, if your business is based off of the fact that you're creating it because you couldn't find something, then it'll be easy because you're the target. Now the biggest part in doing that is to make sure you don't get so caught up in it that, you're, mm -hmm. that you miss something. Miss some exactly. Yeah. So that's one of the things that I have to be aware of is I kind of built my core of who I wanted to be, but then I targeted other tall women to mm -hmm. get their feedback as well. So. Right. That's very good. I'm happy that you mentioned that. And, you know, in doing the... the research and finding out who right. is it that you want to serve and mm -hmm. bring solutions for what are, what are what is one thing or some things that you would say for the women to actually stay away from you know mm -hmm. if they're they're launching out to start their own business well one of the biggest things is you always you want to get someone to help you but you don't want them to do it for you okay um, let's just say, for instance, the business plan. Everyone says you need a business plan. Well, there are a lot of people out there that write business plans, mm -hmm. but you need to be very active in that process. That's good. Um, so that's the biggest part of it. You don't want someone to write the business plan because you need to be able to speak on it. You need to be able to understand the ins and outs of that business plan. So that's probably one of the biggest things I would Being say. very involved in that process. Absolutely. And so a part of the business plan is, of course, talking about the numbers. Mm -hmm. Um, so what does it cost? Um, Jonna, Jonna Jones wants to know, what does it cost to start a clothing line? And it really depends on the type of clothing line you're starting. Of course, if you're starting a t-shirt line, it's not going to be as expensive as it is to start a jean line or a denim line. So it just kind of depends on you know what it is that you're starting. Um, say for instance, for me, um, I would say probably on average I had about $10,000 that I had set aside to say, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Now it's cost me way more than $10,000. <laughs> um, yeah, it's cost way more than that. But that was kind of the start. And you really don't even have to have the $10,000. Looking back, there are definitely certain things that I would do differently in how I went about, you know, there are certain things that I didn't have to have right then and there that right. could have waited. Um, so you definitely want to think through the process and talk to someone who's been where you're wanting to go. Because you may talk to your family and your friends, but they've never been in that business before. So yeah. you may show them the mm -hmm. list of your expenses, mm -hmm. and they go, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. But when you can talk to someone from a business background or for something, they can say, well, have you thought about waiting yes. before you add this or yes. that type of thing? So, yeah. so it can definitely be done for less than $10,000. Now, I know that you just launched or finished, you know, going through a campaign mm -hmm. with, uh, I believe it was Kickstarter. Yes. Uh -huh. Can you tell them a little bit about what Kickstarter is and how that resource can help them with funding yeah. their uh, clothing line? Absolutely. So Kickstarter is a crowdfunding platform. Um, I use Kickstarter, and for Kickstarter, it's a minimum of a dollar. So you, they could pledge a minimum of a dollar as much and go up to as much as they like. Um, and so you're using your you're using your network and you're asking your network to share it with their friends and family mm -hmm. um, for you to be able to raise those funds. And I 
you know, um, Kickstarter is not something that you just wake up one day and you do. Mm -hmm. It took me about two years okay. before I officially said, okay, this is what I'm going to do. So there's a lot of preparation and planning before you actually launch the campaign. Should that be a part of the business planning process or, or is it something that they can start at any time? Well, absolutely. It can be a part of the business planning process as to how you're going to fund the project. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people, if I had to do it over again, I may, Kickstarter wasn't around, mm -hmm. I mean crowdfunding right. has been around, but it hasn't been as prominent as right. it was, um, as it is now. So, you know, had I just now been starting High Goddess, I totally would use, you know, crowdfunding as a way to, as a way to fund the business because you can test the idea mm -hmm. before you actually have to do, do a it. lot of the things. Okay. Which is vital. Um, going into the legal aspect of, you know, starting your own business mm -hmm. if, or starting a clothing line, how would a woman go about protecting her trademark or mm -hmm. trademarking her design right. or just the legalities of that process with starting a right. clothing line? Right. As far as your designs, there's not much protection you can do. I okay. mean, you know, you go to, <laughs> you see any high-end designer and you mm -hmm. go into Target or you go into any other department store and you see that same body or style somewhere else. Um, so as far as trademark, you definitely want to trademark your name. That's the first thing that you want to do. Um, you definitely want to trademark your logo. I've had instances where, um, you know, my tagline, people have used my tagline mm -hmm. and I had to say, you know, hey, you know, I have this trademark, could you kind of stop, not kind of, could you stop using it? <laughs> I know tall never looks so good, it's great, right. but um, could you stop using it, please? Right. Um, yeah, so, so you just want to make sure that you have the trademarks are out there and then you have the process in place that if someone does use it, what are you actually mm -hmm. going to do? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be anything nasty. You know, it can be something very simple, just like, you know, we you know, this is trademarked. I'm not sure if you're aware of it. Could you please stop using it? Okay. So. And and I think that's so important because I know when you're first starting out, or even if when you're in the dreaming phase mm -hmm. of starting, you want to just kind of share it. And because we live in the world of social media, right, absolutely. you know, just like you said, what is a tagline just for someone who may not Right. So a tagline is in essence a single three word or just a single sentence that that tells what your company is about or what your brand is about and yours is mine is tall never looks so good so don't use that <laughs> do not use that <laughs> or you can send me a voice to that <laughs> yeah. well good thank you for sharing that and Tanya wants to know is there a certain level of education that a woman needs when starting a clothing line like does she need to know about different prints and uh -huh. colors and you know would that help her with with, with her clothing line. Well, it helps. It goes back to, I started the I started High Goddess because of a need. Okay. So, I do not have a fashion degree. Um, okay. I do not know You're how not. to sew. <laughs> um, I have no background other than my mom and my dad were at retail. They were on retail. My mom was a buyer and my dad managed a chain of retail stores. So, that was really my only experience with, you know, retail or anything like that. So I have no design experience. Of course, it helps because you don't have to outsource it to as many people mm -hmm. um, if you have, you know, if that's your skill set. But no, you don't have to have any okay. specific education. And as far as um, the profits, mm -hmm. you know, is is your, you started this 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 clothing line because you wanted to, to bring a solution right. to women like myself right. who are tall and we have problems finding uh, lengthy, you know, pants mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Um, but what are the profits like for for anyone who wanted to start a clothing line? Right. What, what should you what, what do you want to share with them about that? Well, and it really depends what your profit. You, so you want to set your profit margin. So retail, there's different ones for you know different sectors of retail. So you want to look up you know what's the average baseline for it, and then you can determine what your market can stand mm -hmm. um, is the biggest part. And so you kind of play with it. You know, some people say you need to have a twenty five percent, thirty percent you know, profit margin. Um, and you tell know, so what a profit really margin is. is? So the profit margin is that after everything has been paid, you know, cost of goods and expenses, that's essentially your profit. That's what you have to work with um, in order for you to continue to run the business. <laughs> so in essence, what you're saying, it's not just saying, hey, I have this design in my head right. that I want to put out or this clothing line. You actually have to have a little bit of understanding about how right. to run it as a business. Absolutely. You have to understand that, you know, if I have this t-shirt on, mm -hmm. what can the what will the market pay for that t-shirt? Yeah. Now I may want to charge, I wouldn't do that, 
But my, I may want to charge seventy five dollars for this T shirt. But can the market stand, stand it? seventy five dollars for this T shirt? Yeah. If I if I sell this T shirt for seventy five and it costs me twenty to make it, mm -hmm. then you know that's of course the profit you know in between the two. But the market can't really stand a seventy five dollar T shirt. Now if you're maybe a high end designer with a name or you know that type of thing, you may be able to do that. But for the most part. Um, that's not the case. So you have to see what what, the, what your market can stand, you know, Absolutely. before you go into that. So yeah. Well, that wraps up phase one of our interview, and this was uh, giving you business tips on how to start your clothing line. The next video process that you'll experience is us talking about the mindset that you need to yeah. have in moving forward with taking your dream and bring it into reality starting your own business. So thank you again. Thank Lisa. you. And we'll look forward to sharing or hearing more about your clothing line and upcoming success. And if you can share with our viewers your information and how they can find and experience your brand. Yes, absolutely. So you can find us at heightgoddess.com. Um, that's heightgoddess.com as well as our Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest Handles are all Facebook, I'm sorry, are all heightgoddess.com, as well as we're on Instagram. So we'd love for you to follow us, tweet us, ask us questions, um, join the tall girl side of things. <laughs> um, we're very nice. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.